Let's get into it. Yes. In okay. Honestly, it's the best thing the cutscene could say there. Uh, so Karthus curved. There's no way I can fit this great sword. Really? I'm going to say this. Then. Curve GS. Good enough. Um, let's see. I'll fix that. Fix this. Knights. I think we wanted to start mercenary because there's a mercenary. Yeah. The only thing we so we're doing the the deep Karthus curve curved sword, curved great sword, and it has no scaling. So the only thing we need to worry about really is meeting the dex requirement, and I think this has the highest dex. Barrel gift. We'll do this. Sure. Face presets. Give me no, not that. This one? This guy looks very dirty. So what we'll do for this one, because you need to farm it. Um, I'm either going to do like one or I don't know. I, I'm going to see where we are after an hour. I might do like two hours just with like whatever weapon. I guess this. Maybe in a second I'll Google to see if we can get like another curved greatsword easily, and I'll use that instead of this. But we'll get to a point where I need to farm it, and depending on how much time is left, maybe I'll uh, do some farming, and maybe we get it, or maybe I'll just farm it off stream. I don't really know yet. I don't know how easy it's going to be to farm this thing. So... We'll see. I I don't really know where to farm it. I have a, like it's somewhere in the catacombs, I'm sure, but gonna have to run through it to see exactly which enemies drop it. Should be pretty obvious though, because the enemies that drop it are, are gonna be using it. But yeah, we'll be uh, rocking the Twin Blades for probably a little bit, because just what this class starts with. But I'll take a look, maybe once we get the Fire Link. See if there's like another Curved Sword, Curved Great Sword we can pick up, like, right away. So I like doing that, like, whenever I use a weapon, I try to, like, if I know I'm not going to get it for a while, I try to use a weapon of the same class, which I didn't do for the Soldering Iron, because I think I just forgot about that, but... I'll try to do it here. Actually, I don't think I did it for really anything other, uh, you know, other than now. At least that's the plan, anyway. All right, uh, Dex, I guess. We can do health too. We only need. I think we need twelve strength to two-hand it. But we need twenty-two Dex to use it. The problem is we also, like, if I'm going to use another sword, I need to be able to meet the requirements. This is something I should have looked up earlier, but I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to take a quick look. If there's nothing, then I'm just going to use uh, these. Right, music's going to stop for a second. Let's see. Weapons. Curved greatsword. Exile greatsword we could do, right? That's uh, in fair and keep. It's twinkling titanite, though. Oh, no, it's regular titanite. I'm sorry. Um, what is the requirement? 24 strength. Okay, that's a, the only problem. Uh, Herald, Herald Curve Sword. That feels like something you gotta farm, and I think that's a DLC weapon. Yup. Murakumo Grey Rat or something. Dropped by Alva. That's a no. Old Wolf Curve Sword. Yeah, I'm not doing that one. All right, so none of these are really... I don't know, the Exile Greatsword is the only thing that is, like, doable, except the strength requirement is higher than what I need. 
which I uh, I don't know. I need to get to what is that? Sixteen strength. I could do that. Maybe I'll just do that. Okay, we can do that. Cause like I, then I can one hand the. I need eighteen. I think it is to one hand the Carthus Curve Greatsword. So we'll do that. That'll work. Uh, let me get to see some things in Firelink, though, first. I just realized I forgot the Titanite Shard at the thing. <sighs> Whatever. It's fine. I'm going to grab the uh, Estus Shard up top. I'm not going back for the Titanite Shard. I didn't even get the bonfire uh, before Gundir, so <laughs> I'm not going back. Too lazy. And I failed to jump. DS3 runs, when I do them, are just a mess. Like, there, there's no order to them. Grab this ember. Then we'll go to high wall. It's actually really good too that we can get this before uh like any big boss anyway. The Exile Great Sword. Because then I can just upgrade that. I don't need to upgrade these. But yeah, we'll probably need to do uh, Great Wood for the Transposing Kiln. I'm just going to grab like a bunch of farming materials before I start farming this thing. Probably gets I, I might kill patches for his ashes or I could just. Yeah, no, it's probably better to just kill him. than to go find him and try and. Uh, I don't know. Buy stuff from him. But yeah, we might be doing another run today, or starting another run later on, just based on how long it takes to farm. So we'll see. I hate this guy, man. I just put him right in the doorway. Always gets in your way. Oh, hello. I didn't know this guy was here. <laughs> Somehow. Oh, I forgot to allocate my flasks, too. Oh, well. Dude, what? I just can't not get hit. Alright, you guys need to move, please. Good old Vort. What is this? This is a fight I honestly need to learn. 
like at past new game it's really not bad but like new game can be kind of scary especially if you have no healing and you just tank like two hits like if you know it though it's you know fine i just don't <laughs> can say that about every fight in the game though That's what I mean, though. Like, I don't know if that was going to happen. The most frustrating part is just the run back. Like, I could have got the shortcut, but... I didn't. Trying to think of oh it might kill me. Oh this guy might kill me though. I couldn't even move. Things are going well so far. I feel like the early game in like every Dark Souls game. It's kinda rough, man. Like you just have nothing to start with as far as like health goes. Like, once you get a little bit of health, it gets a lot easier. You have, like, no health, no healing. Dark Souls 2 might be, like, it's not, eh, yeah, I don't know, you have life gems in Dark Souls 2. Never mind. But, like, you have one Estus to start. And the rest you have to find in Dark Souls 2. Dude, come on, please, stop. Don't just kill me. <laughs> like, seriously. Can't get out of high wall. Sekiro starts pretty rough too, actually. I think you only get one, uh, one healing gourd. And the rest you have to find. Dark Souls 1, you can just, like, kindle a bonfire right away and get 10 Estus. Well, you probably don't know that on your first playthrough. But, like, you can. Which is pretty, pretty crazy. Alright. So, yeah, goodbye, souls. That kind of sucks. But, it's okay. So now we're just gonna run to Baron Keep, try and get the Great Sword. I get a level strength, which is, again is a lot harder now with no souls. But what? Uh, what's the strength at? Still ten. Okay. I needed. I think. Yeah, I don't remember. I, it was twenty-four. So I need. I need sixteen to two-hand it. Maybe we should do Sage first. Because I'm like, I'm not going to be able to level anything. Stop. Stop.
Good ol' Estus, grab the Pine Resin here. I should probably get the Titanite Shard too, honestly. Which means I gotta come back. I'm already down one shard, so... So I know where to get a Deep Gem. I know I can get that in... Um, Cathedral. I can't remember where you get the coal, though. I think I need Sage's Coal, and it's somewhere in Fair and Keep. Oh my god, I'm getting hit by just, like, everything now, man. Where's the chart over here? I'm gonna die. Please stop. Is it over here? I think there's two shards here, but I don't remember where the other one is. I think I missed it. Right, Hodrick. I always forget about Hodrick. So do we have one shard right now, I think? Or we have two? Okay, I'm gonna probably get the ashes. I think we'll do Sage. Let me get rid of Hondrick here first. I think we'll do Sage and then go to Abyss Watchers. Or at least Fair and Keep. We'll get most of the stuff we need. Probably. We'll get the, the Exile Greatsword, we'll get the Dream Chaser's Ashes. What was the other thing? Oh, the uh, coal. It's somewhere, it's guarded by a Dark Wraith. I don't know exactly where it is, though. I think it's in the swamp, though. I'm gonna grab this, because we're gonna do Great Wood later on. I could do great one now, but I, I really don't feel like it. Actually, you know what? Let's go back to Firelink for a second. I want to get some Estus, allocate the flask, and maybe level some strength. I think I have Vort Soul I can pop. I need to make sure to save Sage's Soul. Because I need it for the, uh, I need the Rapier for farming. I think I have two of these? Do I have three? I do not have three. Okay. Give me six. For they be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. I will. I haven't been so far, but I will <laughs> try anyway. Alright, strength to, I guess, 12. Then we gotta get the uh, 16. Right back to here. You kind of hate this part, to be honest. Like, trying to get past this group of enemies is just kind of annoying. Unless you wait. That dog is freaking out. Who's shooting?
Yeah, I'm quitting out here. <laughs> I don't care. Probably gonna start doing that more. Not like a lot more, but on doors mainly. Sound is bugged again. That's cool. I don't know why it happens, but it does. Maybe it's just something like whenever I watch anyone play this game, I never notice that, but it always happens to me. I don't know why. See? Bonfire sound broken. Yeah, I'm hoping after Sage we'll have enough for 16 strength. And like, we should. I, I don't even know why I leveled health and endurance before. Like, I, I should have just gotten strength all the way, knowing we're going to get the Exile Greatsword to start. But I just literally just wasn't thinking. We'll probably do Sage with these then. Because we can't, kind of have to, otherwise we're in for a super long fight if we use a weapon we can't even wield. That would be pretty painful. Okay, yeah, we can grab a couple more Titanite shards here. I just never remember, like, where they are. There is one right here, and then I think the other one is... I don't know. We'll find it. I know it's surrounded by a bunch of these dudes. Here? Right down here? Yes. They are tankier than I thought they'd be. Might be dead. Right, healing on. Cool. Oh, I forgot to use the undead bone shard too. It's another tiny shard over to the right, but I'm not gonna bother with it. Oh, the teleporting dog. Can you just, like, hit him? Come on, man. Okay, Sage with, like, no health is kind of scary, but... We'll see how it goes. The problem with Sage is you can just get lit up so quickly. That's why I hate doing early Sage, but I kind of need the souls. I wanted to use Resin, and then I kind of... I didn't know where to stand. I didn't know where the fight would trigger. This damage is not good. <laughs> I don't know the crystal spawns. Let's see over here. This fight's like super easy if you just know where to go. Like you pretty much won't get hit. But I kind of know, kind of know them. Not completely though. At least in phase one.
Stop, dude. I should have been more behind the column there. That's what I mean, like... <laughs> I was on Sage right away and, like, still just died because I got two shot, essentially. In an instant, I got speared and then darted. Or darted, then speared. Oh my god, this guy has so much health too. Like, what the hell? I can't believe that didn't hit me. I have no idea where this one is. Oh, there apparently. Dude, <laughs> I hate doing this fight with no health, man. Ugh. You get two shot, like, like almost anything, man. It sucks. And there goes a resin, too. I'm not even gonna use the resin. I'll try this maybe a handful more times, and maybe we'll just go do Abyss Watchers, because I feel like that'd be easier. Like, knowing the, the crystal, like, how, how crystal sage spawns is, like, pretty much vital <laughs> to doing this fight easily. Otherwise, you just get magic spammed. some of them, but just, I can't remember all of them. This one I know. Phase two. This one I'm not sure on. Yeah, I learned how to do this, kind of. I don't know, like, perfectly, but I kind of... I don't know this one. What the hell was that? It's over here. Actually, I don't know this one either. Here. There we go. I don't know what happened in that, that first attempt. Because I didn't get hit by anything there. And like, the first attempt, I was ready to, like, go. Like, I, I don't know. Unlucky, I guess. But anyways. Now we can go get the Exile Greatsword. 
Assuming I don't die trying to get over here. We'll do that, then we'll upgrade to something. Oh, no, we gotta get we gotta get the strength. I keep forgetting. Let's go do that now. Grab uh, sixteen strength. We need four more levels, I think. And then we'll try and just get the guy to jump down the hole. Sixteen. Save the rest. Burn that. Have the sound glitch out. And we'll go back here. Even the water doesn't sound right. <laughs> the hell, man. It, like, I can't even, I can't even do, like, something like verifying the integrity of the game cache because I'm on a, I'm on a lower patch because of the, the mods. I had to, I had to, oh, what the hell, man. All right, I guess we're finding him normally then. Where is he? Is he still climbing? Yeah, he's climbing. I hear him. Taking your sweet time. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, that hit me? Hey, okay, where's the other dude? Hopefully he's uh up there still and not coming down. This is not how I planned for this to go. Oh, it has a kick? That's interesting. Didn't know that. I don't know how he's not dealing damage. I think I guess he's just like... getting the ground in front of me. And not actually hitting me. Yeah, are you, did he really just try and punch me? Does he have like a Seistus or something? Ow, that hit me. Dude, why? Why? What? What is it? Oh, of course, this guy just comes out of nowhere. I'm dead. Okay. Seriously, though, where did he come from? I didn't even see him come down the ladder. How is it like normally I get these guys to jump down this hole like 90% of the time, and then the one time I need the weapon, they don't. I think you have to just start climbing and going down and pray that they fall. Yeah, nice parry, dude. Alright, so we'll do that. We're just gonna slide down. Come on. Alright, one's dead? Huh? How did you live? Oh, he's just almost dead. That's insane. Like, seriously, though, how did he... He lived with, like, a tiny amount of health. I don't know how he did it. Let me sell... Not that. I gotta remember, I cannot sell that. Not those. I wanted to sell... I can sell these. Not very much, though. 
So that, I should probably get a leather shield too, actually. For Pontiff. The only problem now with that actually is I can't, I can't kill Pontiff with carrying unless I get 24 strength. That's kind of annoying, but maybe, maybe I'll do a parry list or something. We'll just try and... Maybe the shield is pointless. It won't be pointless because I can use it in NG+, but right now it's kind of pointless. Actually, I'm going to keep these because I'm going to get uh, more shards. We'll be able to buy them, assuming I don't die. Big assumption, though. Okay, so the Farron Coal. We're gonna get poisoned too. I don't think this is it. Oh, it's a shard though. Shards are good. We need those. The Farron Coal, I think, is somewhere in here. But I don't know where. So maybe first we'll just get all these things and then. We'll worry about it after, because we really don't need it now. I'm so dead. Oh, man, I just I really don't want to die right now because I want to keep these souls. What's this? Are these homeward bones or no? No. Yeah, we might be here for a while trying to figure out where this is, but it's okay. We got time. Oh, come on. Wow. Okay. Jesus Christ, man. I wasn't expecting to get killed by a... I don't even know what that was. Jump attack. That was insane. That's why I always try to avoid fighting that guy, because he just... He does so much damage, but I didn't think he'd kill me with that attack. But, to be fair, I also don't have a lot of health. Are you guys serious? Come on. I don't even know, like, where I went to aggro that dude either. That's the other thing. Alright. Just gonna reset him. I should have done that before with the other dude, but it's fine. Please. Can you quit out? I don't know where I can go. I think I have to wait for this cutscene. Homeward Bones? Where are they? Oh, they're not here. They're at the other one.
All right, we'll grab the ashes. We'll get some large shards. We'll get this undead bone shard. And then we're going to go back, get the third fire. And then I got to figure out where this Farron Coal is, man. Don't know. Jesus Christ, what is this damage? Hmm. Looking around, seeing I think I think the Farron Cole's in a structure like that one right there, but like I want to see another one. But we'll we'll find it. I just want to make sure I get, like, shards. Like, I don't want any souls when I go find it. So I don't want to die just inexplicably to something. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing at this point we're probably going to do at least two hours before we uh, end up farming. There's something else I didn't think about is a weight. Like, I, didn't, I, I don't think we're going to need the uh, Havel's Ring, but... I actually don't really know. I don't know how heavy the weapon is. I don't think it's, like, super heavy or anything. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I hit it. How did it disappear still? I can't hit it with the R1 because it just swings over the top of its head. Well, maybe if you like aim super far down or something, you can. And don't lock on. Uh, or not. That works too. All right, do I, I have homebrew bones, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the shrine. So we have six of these. We need another four. Then we can get plus four. Well... I don't know if we have enough souls for that. We have plus two. Let me see. Maybe I can do... Can I sell some stuff? Nah, it's not worth much. I don't think I have much to sell. Aside from armor. Nah. It's fine. Did I ever get another undead bone shard? Oh, I did. Yeah, it's probably all I have, though. Okay, so we gotta do the third one of these, and we gotta find the coal. Yeah, dude, like, my... Uh, I feel like when I'm playing Dark Souls 3, I just, like... Everything just feels like spaghetti. I have no idea, like, what I'm doing every time. Like, do I have an undead bone shard? Do I have Nesta shard? Do I have Titan shards? I don't know what I have because there's just it's just no order. I just do everything so randomly. And then we gotta muck around in the swamp for a bit too here, so try and figure out where this coal is.
And then at some point we'll go do Abyss Watchers. But again, right now, I don't know. Well, I guess we can start looking, right? Jump? Oh, that's not the jump button. Could just look it up quickly. I think I'm going to do that. It's just going to save time. Because this is like a pretty big area with a lot of sections where you just slowed. Unless you have like a dagger or something. Let me take a look. Uh, let's see. Deep gym. Okay. No, what do I want? I want, uh... Sage is cool, that's what I want. Starting from the first bonfire, keep to the left-hand side until you reach the small structure guarded by a dark wraith. Okay. That part I knew, I just didn't know where it was. Let's so keep to the left. What's this? Shard? Ah, if it is, I don't need it. So I'm not gonna look. Small structure guarded by a dark wraith. Hmm. Ah, I think it's this. Oh, definitely this. It's not a very good guard. Oh, I don't know where he's going. He's gonna go fight that, I guess. Okay. Well, we got this. Can't do anything with it yet. This will be for the, uh... Parthist Curve Greatsword when we get it. So right now we'll just go do Abyss Watchers. Are we missing anything? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I did everything I needed to. We got the ashes. We have all the shards. We just need a little more uh, souls to level. I could also do Great Wood too now. Or really at any point before I start farming. But I also want to run through the catacombs and just see where exactly we need to... Like, what the best place to farm, I guess, would be. Because I, I have no idea, man. How many embers do we have? Three? I'll use one here. I think really all we need to do to farm is kill great wood for the kiln so we can get crystal sages rapier and then we gotta find patches and kill them to be able to get rusted coins or whatever they're called and i also need to go to irithil dungeon now that i think about it because i need the covetous gold serpent ring Fight them. Ah, oh. no, can't believe he didn't die. Thought that would get him.
The nice thing is I can stagger him. Well, kind of. Maybe not after every attack. What? Is that hitbox? Oh, I can't move. I gotta heal. Now I'll we'll, we'll probably go upgrade to plus four. You know, I think... I think I'm gonna farm before Pontiff, because then I can actually, like, one-hand the weapon for Pontiff. But I do need... Take 18 strength. I don't know why I'm sitting here. This is not where you level. So, let's get 18. We're going to need 22 decks. I'll wait on that, though. Don't need it yet. Get a little more health, some more stamina. And we'll upgrade to plus 4. Okay, not that. Pretty be careful. I guess plus three. We'll probably go down to uh, Smoldering Lake too. Get some large shards there. But let's take a look through here and see what dudes can be farmed. We, we're looking for specifically guys with great swords. That is not a great sword. They have a regular sword in, a, in the shield like this guy. And then it's, I think the one here has a great sword. But I don't really want to farm him. You know what? Maybe we just kill him right now. And maybe he drops the sword, and then we don't need to worry about farming. Unlucky. Okay, guess we'll look in here too. Dude, I <laughs> I did not roll there. My controller just randomly decides like to roll. I don't know what it is. I'm like I'm holding the button the entire time and then like sometimes like just randomly rolls. It's so weird. This is not great. I am yeah, dead. <laughs> Okay, well, hey. Gives us another chance to run through here and maybe get a great sword. Like, ugh, I don't know, man. I just can't get an attack off. It's so slow. So many enemies down here. My health is still pretty low. At least it feels pretty low. So you can just jump down there, huh? I don't know if you can survive that, actually, with this health. I have no idea. Out of my way, please. Alright, this is not a good idea, I feel. 
Ugh, I, I don't like this. We're just gonna keep going. Maybe they get killed by the, uh... Giant ball. I'm not gonna worry about those guys now. I'm not going back to them. We're just gonna keep moving. I'll kill the one over here, though. Or try to, anyway. Ah, oh, come on. I forgot they can parry you. This is why this is not going to be fun. It'll be better, like, having more health and more damage, though. But, like, right now, this kind of sucks. Doesn't help when you miss. Like, look how much health he has. I'm not doing this now. I'm dead. I, I am actually dead here. Like... I didn't mean to roll off. I was trying to roll into the corner and heal quickly, and I just rolled too far. I didn't Ember there, did I? Oh, I did. That sucks. Uh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. So, get, hang on. Can you jump down here and survive? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, you can. <laughs> okay. That's good. Total mess. This is what I mean, man. Like, it's just so sloppy. I have literally no clue what I'm doing in this game. <laughs> I didn't realize I had no health. I didn't even look. Oh, my God.